much as can be said for the English. I think what we have is near and dear to the heart. It is more steady, it's intimate, and brothers, I don't know how many of you have been in the military, it's not about that flag, it's not about your commander, it's about that man and that whole group in that moment in time. And that's all it's about. Him and you. That's hard. I cherish my time in the United States military. I was a military policeman in the 298 Fort Stewart. Spent time in the Carolinas, Alabama, finally at Fort Stewart. I enjoyed the corps that I was in. I wouldn't give anything for it in the world. And I hope and I think we got some young ones coming along that are going to carry on that proud tradition of service to his country. No matter how far and wide his travels are out there in the world, I know that in this young man's heart, it won't be about some foreign flag a thousand miles away. I know that when he goes to defend his country and serve, that in his heart, this young man's heart right here, will be this flag just as it was during my time of service. It was my state flag, the real Georgia flag, and this one. You gonna do that for me? Good. I hope it's on. Airborne? Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> Airborne. Okay. As long as it ain't the Navy. Yeah, I hear you coughing over there. <laughs> well, good. They say the Navy is the safest branch. I'm not too sure about that. Especially when you got a bunch of Marines on board. Is that all right? I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard a lot of rumors, yeah. I don't know what they were there. All right, that's about all I have to say, I suppose. We need to get this, uh, you know, we got some other people need to speak. We'll keep the same place from all of We do have other obligations. Um, I'll close by saying it, it has been an honor to have the companionship of all of you people. All of you. Each one of you are dear to me. It's a pleasure to see each occasion that we have to get together like this. I try to come to the camps and spend some time with you. As long as my little tiny, uh, my little tiny paycheck will allow, I'll tell you that one. It gets tough sometimes. Uh, it's been a pleasure to serve with deep cops. Without missing a cop, these projects wouldn't have got off the ground by Dr. Clinton. It's his determination. Bulldog tenacity that he has to carry through a project. When he starts something, he will finish it. And I do admire that in his character. Ralph Lamb, man of similar devotion. Can't be enough said for these men. They were out here when this thing, putting this thing up, it was 115 degrees. For two solid weeks, had a heat index 110, 115 degrees. I wouldn't have been out here putting this son of a gun in the ground. I've been, I would have been out here today. This has been the first day I would have even thought about this son of a gun. That shows you what kind of men they are and how determined they are. When they start a project to complete, they not only have this one to be proud of, but another one to see later on. We have our differences from time to time, but then sometimes between camps over little small childish <laughs> things, and a lot of times within the camp. There again, usually over some childish little old thing. 
I am a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. If I ever do anything that displeases anybody in my camp or any of you gentlemen in these other camps, I let my mouth overload my behind a many a day. If I ever do it, I want you to know it is not intentional at all. It is not intentional. It is purely by mistake that I might say something that would offend you. But I appreciate you doing like my Masonic brothers do. Humor me by getting me off to the side as a gentleman and tell me that you disagree with me. Let's work it out. Don't go away angry with me. Let's meet on the level and part on the square like them boys do. Let's, let's take care of it that day. And don't go back to our homes having some kind of hardness of heart. Come and speak to me, and let's work it out that day. Because these things that fester within camps or within people in the individual camp, they're not productive. I don't think we have them, but I'm aware of them. I want you to know that I'm open to each and every one of you. If there's some idea that you have that you think would improve these camps, then please come forward. Be taken in the way they get. I do appreciate each and every one very much. I wish I could still I'd put on my boots. Earlier this week. And I couldn't get them on. Because of medical problems. And uh. I don't know how lucky you are to still be able to go out there and play and have a good time. Cherish every minute of it. Fight like hell to never let go of it. I love you. Every one of you. That's all I have to say. Love you, sir.